what is up guys, I'm 60 this is going to be the, ep the intro to the video for tomorrow as well. This is the, this is going to be in two parts, today I'm going to do the first part and the tomorrow is going to be the rest of the video for the PC. I've got here with me, Matt, he's driving me there. Crappy cinematic, face of mystery. I'm going to get the last of the parts as we're going to see today, it's six more parts. I said in the video yesterday it was four, by accident I meant six. But I still have enough money to get it all and then I'll show you some of the parts when I get back. And then tomorrow... The second half of the video is going to be building it, so get ready for that. Now in his Ford, he's going to be driving because, you know, driving life. We don't need lights on. Yeah, why the fuck do you have lights on? It's the morning, dumbass. Pizza at night. Pizza at night. Pizza at night. Seriously, yeah. video this? Yeah, I'm going to video you driving for us a little second. But... Oh. Meow. If I wanted to show off, I would. Oh, you're a lead foot, mate. I love it. <laughs> I turned off the camera for a bit. Now we're here at MSY to get the very last of the shit. As you can sign. see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they have, they have a sign on there. <laughs> I'm going to go in, get them. I'll show you when I get in the car. Ready? Yep. Good. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Good luck. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to keep it like up in the air <laughs> safely. So just got the last of the shit. There's the power supply and all the crap down there. I don't know how well you can see it. Because you're behind my head. Now off home, and then you can have a look at it all properly. So I'm back. Now, you saw the first half of today, and now the second half of today. I found out some news that the guy that's helping me build the computer has a shift tomorrow that he can't get out of, so it's going to be done the day after that. I finished my shift with him at the exact same time, so he's going to come around here after that. So instead of it being Saturday, it's going to be made. It's going to be made Sunday night. So, it's only another extra day, I'll cut this off here and then go straight to the Sunday part because, you know. So as you saw from the first half of today, I went with Matt to go get the parts. Here they all are, here they all are from the power supply, the RM8850i, to the liquid cooler, to the two optical drives, to extra fans, to even to the Wi-Fi at the back. I'm gonna try my best to show you all this without anything going weird or wrong. I'm going to avoid it touching as much carpet and fabric as possible because static electricity is not good. But other than that, yeah. I just got a standard LG um, DVD writer thing so I can actually use a DVD inside of it. So that's number one. The second one is the other optical drive which is a Blu-ray player from LG as well. I was going to get the Samsung one but they had ran out and I trust LG as well as Samsung so yeah. So next I have my two spare fans which are both Corsair that light up red. I'll take one out for you to show them, but they're both exactly identical. I got these with my case um, back in February, March, I think. February or March. I got, them, I got these back in March with the actual case itself. So this is one of the fans. Obviously, of course, it lights up red from these little LEDs up in there, if you can see it. I don't know. Wait, hold up. You can almost see it. Right in there. See it? Yeah. They feel cool spitting and... Obviously, it's a fan, so it's going to produce some kind of, some kind of airflow. I'm worried on the amount of fans that I have in there already, because um, there'll be two from this guy, there'll be this guy, then there's multiple for the actual graphics card itself, and then there's already three already installed inside of it. I'm going to get rid of one of them, because it's just a basic stock standard, and then chuck one of these in replacement of that, and if these two front flare fans don't light up on the case, I'm going to replace them with these. But we'll get to that in a minute. The next small thing is the Wi-Fi uh, thing it's I wasn't too sure on if I actually had dual band compatible but it is so this is the one that I got uh, it was a really cheap thing but you know whatever Woo. then the next wait no the next oh god oh shit <laughs> it's all good next most is my SSD it's a 500 gigabyte SSD the 850 Evo series by Samsung by the way, all the ones that do have the hard-ass plastic on, I'm not taking out of the hard-ass plastic. I'll just try and get the best shot within them. So, you've already seen the graphics card. If you haven't seen the graphics card, go to my other video right there. And you can have a look at my graphics card unboxing there. I actually take it out of the plastic and everything, hold it up in the air and just have a good look at it. Um, I will not pull the motherboard out of its hard-ass plastic because I really don't want to mess with the motherboard. I'll show you in the plastic and try and my best to focus in on it, but that's about it. My... Um, CPU, which is the i7-5820K processor. It's the next one up from the i7, well, 
Now this is i7-5820K and this is the one up from the i7-6700K. Uh, it has more cores, more threads and has a different pin type. It's a 2011 instead of a 1151. So that's why I also ended up having to upgrade my motherboard to yeah, accompany the CPU. A 16 gigabytes worth, two 8 gigabyte sticks of uh, the G-Skill uh, Ripjaw series RAM. Um, I haven't taken them out of plastic whatsoever because this is hard, hard, hard plastic that you only would undo when it comes to actually putting it in. So yeah, that's that as well. I'll leave a, I'll leave a, the parts list in this video as well. Straight after I do this parts thing, um, you'll see the part about yeah, of the PC actually being built. I don't care how long this video is, I'm showing it all uh, from start to finish, and yeah. Then I have my two WD Blue hard drives. One is a one terabyte, which is this one I'm holding here, and then I have my three terabyte right here, because I want about four. One, the one terabyte is for general programs and school stuff. Probably a majority of the, the programs will be installed on SSD or something like that. I'm not too sure how I'm going to work that out, but it's probably going to be most of the programs on the SSD and then all other crap on here, like um, movies and shit like that. This one is purely for gaming and editing, which is a three terabyte, so I can have as many games on there as I need, as well as a ton of videos and a ton of recorded videos and a ton of program um, editing files and all that kind of stuff. Everything that takes up a lot more space is going to go on this boy. So now we're getting into the more bigger stuff. I'll move this guy out of the way because obviously, if you have seen it already, my video, as I put up there before, go again. This is my graphics card. It is the GTX 1080 G1 GeForce by Gigabyte. That's a lot of Gs in there, I just said. Um, it is an absolute beastly looking thing as well. So go have a look at that. But the rest of these things, besides the case, you guys have seen the case fairly often because this is just a beautiful case. It's the uh, Corsair it's the Corsair 230T case. Sorry for my stutter, I'm a bit, I'm, I just get stuttery at some other times. So, the 230T uh, Corsair case um, with four um, two, two and a half inch slots and four three and a half inches with three five and a quarter inches, which are the optical drives, the hard drive, and the SSD right there. I'll walk it through about a bit more just at the very end. So, next I have the, the CPU cooler. It is actually spelt with a K by Antec. It's a bit, it's a, um, it was still a fairly high quality product. I, my, uh, Matt came over, as you would have saw at the start, and he asked what the hell this was. He thought that it was just some, this huge bit of boxing for something like that, that big that goes over the CPU. No, it's got two fans plus the radiator in it, which is the thing that actually cools the CPU down. This is the part that actually goes over the CPU in general. This part here, that goes over the CPU, and this is what brings in the cool air and stuff like that, I believe. I'm not too sure how it completely works, but you'll see eventually. It also has two fans in there, plus, um, uh, plus thermal paste, as well as some other little trinkets and crap like that. It is the, what is it, the H1200 Cooler H2O Pro. CPU cooler. It wasn't too costly. It was still on the upper end for liquid coolers, liquid coolers. But I'd rather have one that is trustable than one that will break and then get liquid everywhere. The Entec CPU cooler I'm using. Yeah. Woo. Now this is the one of the pieces I got today. So I've only had it no more than like five hours, something like that. This is the. Get rid of the glare. So this is the RM850i power supply. It does fit in it, I checked it. Um, and it's got a lot of cords and it was a bitch to get out. But I will pull it out for you guys, just quickly. This only supports six PCIe slots and the case is seven. But for a while I'm not gonna need all seven. The only reason why I got a motherboard that can withstand seven PCIe's is because I don't want to have to constantly switch motherboards. So, um, power supplies are a lot easier to switch between than motherboards are, so I just thought when, I, when it comes around to needing a bigger power supply that can take all seven, I will, but for now, I'm not going to need one for a while. Okay, so let's pull you out. This has, this part here, there's like a little satchel, has basically all the cords that come with it in here. It's like 
proper little satchel and everything. It's like heavy duty. See all the cords? Yeah, there's a lot of them. It's like a full on... You know, if, if you've ever felt an umbrella, this is what it feels like. This little satchel feels like the umbrella skin. This is the power supply. RM850i Corsair power supply. Yeah. Now the annoying part to put it all back in. Okay, back to the video now. Down to the final two things, which is the case and the motherboard. Ah, the motherboard is the Gigabyte X99P SLI Ultra Durable Motherboard. I don't know why I said Ultra Durable, I just saw it in yellow and I thought I may as well say it. Go for it. This is getting heavy. Ooh. Yeah, so let's open this baby up. I've had a fair bit of examination on it because it's such a cool looking part of the computer. And it feels so delicate, so I hold it with two hands every single time. CPU goes right here, as you might be able to tell a bit. Get a bit of light somewhere. So I don't want to go through, I don't want to take off the plastic yet. Wait, you can kind of see that. That's where the CPU goes right here is where the RAM will slot in. I believe so. Uh, this is where the, the graphics cards come to, like when they're in the SL, in their, in their PCIe slots. And then right in there is all the ports and the stuff like that. I'm not sure what this is used for, and I'm not sure what anywhere else is used for, but that's all I do know. And I'm pretty sure down here at the very bottom is a lot of the power supply stuff, but other than that, yeah, motherboard. Yeah, so that's literally the PC and everything that's going to be involved with my PC. It's going to be an incredibly beast PC, trust me. Now, I'm going to, for the video link, in the video description, I'm going to leave uh, a description of each part that I'm using. And if you want to look up their price and stuff like that, go right ahead, because I'm in Australia, I can't speak for your prices. Um, I'm going to say the overall price. I'm going to work out the overall price and leave it at the very end of it, so you can see just how much I saved up and how much hard work I put into actually getting this because it's been a long time waiting for this guy. That's all the parts from the CPU to the graphics card to the power supply even to the hard drives and the optical drives. We'll go to the next part. And it's Sunday now. What you would have just seen is me unboxing everything on the Friday. So Perrin was meant to come around on Saturday which was yesterday but I got off at a shift and I said no because he was coming around to help me with a PC and then I have a dinner to go to but then the guy I work with and who's now partly my manager asked Perrin to do the shift and he said yes. Yeah. So I had to wait until Sunday until after we both finished work because me and Perrin finished at the exact same time on the exact same shift. So less than six hours away from him coming around to build it, I just thought I'd update you all on the fact that because if it had already been built and the rest of the vlog had been made I would have edited it all or started to edit all by now and it would be out by Monday. So considering the timeline of it, I'll probably have this out by Tuesday. Show it to my breakfast at the multitask because I have to get ready in a couple minutes. So you'll, you'll see it in a couple of seconds, but for me it'll be a couple of hours. I'm so close to having it built. Everything is ready. I de-dusted my whole room just so I can clean out the case of any dust that's in it. I de-dusted the fan, table, down there, whole desk, everything. Because I do not want any kind of dust in this case. I got rid of as much dust as I possibly could, but yeah. So yeah, switch over now. Peanut butter. I think that worked. So I'm back, guys. Uh, this is the Sunday, and as you would see in my room right now, there is a ton of messes. Like everything's just on my bed. All that. There's a shit ton in my bin. And that's mainly because the PC is mostly built. Now the reason why it's not fully built is because when we first started, we thought we had gotten the wrong cooler. We thought, okay, maybe we needed an actually 2011 three pin specified one not just a 2011 because this one is 2011 wait wrong spot this one is 2011 compatible but it's not 2011 three pin that's what we thought it might need it to be because this is a 2011 so, uh, something in there is 2011 three pin i think it was the cpu that was a 2011 three um so he thought oh crap maybe we got the wrong kind of cooler so we didn't bother trying to add it in he didn't look too hard i don't think because he was just trying to use the screws. He was trying to use these ones straight into like um, those holes right there. Into that hole right there on your right, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those straight into that. But if he had looked a bit more, he would have found this picture right here. 
and which I'll, and because with the way it worked out, he was trying to go one of those straight into those holes. But if he had looked at the picture, he would have realized that there was this little screw right here that he was meant to put into the hole first. Because that's the hole that he's trying to put the big screw into without using one of them. And he's meant to put one of them into one of these. Because these fit into the hole. These ones are too thin to go into the hole, but these are thick enough to go into the hole and thin enough for the big pin. So I'm thinking we do have the right one now, but he's already home. He's a 40 minute drive, drive away and I'm not gonna make him come all the way down here to then drive all the way back straight away. But the thing is, I think I don't need to get a new CPU. That's the, that's the great thing about it because I thought I made a $120 fuck up on what CPU cooler I got. And at the moment I'm fucking hot in here, so I need a, I need a Ben cooler. I don't think I fucked up on the equipment I got, which is a great, it's amazing to hear. But the reason why I didn't have the time lapse of everything being put together is because Perrin didn't want to be on camera, and I fully respect that. Uh, tomorrow, though, he said he's fine for me to time lapse him putting on the cooler as well as the graphics card and then plugging it all in. Because it is basically done. I do need to get some more um, of those red cables right there, because I only got one of them and I need another four which are their SATA cables or S-A-T-A cables. I don't know how some people want to pronounce it, but that's that. So everything's in except for the CPU cooler and the graphics card. Not only do I have four normal USBs, so I have two there and then two there. Two normal and then two normal, so four normal USBs. I then also have three USB 3.0 slots right there and two there. But I also have one USB 3.1. As you'll see with the labeling right there, it says USB 3.1. 3.1 USB spots are red. This is the setup I've had going for the moment. I had to put my monitor down there, as well as move everything around, take all my keyboard and stuff off. So I've got this light shining right there, so we can have light right down on there. And I put in a brighter globe, so that's a lot brighter. I'm gonna keep that in, so when I record, I don't need to have that guy going on, that big light going on a lot. But, it's literally done. I can't believe it. If we hadn't, uh, if we had realized that it was a CPU cooler was the right one and we had had to use these other small screws right here, then we could, we would have literally be done by now. But another good thing is though, because he didn't have his Windows 7 thing on, the Windows 10 free update ends in 10 days time. And he has a, a copy of Windows 7 that is able to be free updated to Windows 10. So that's gonna save me another 140 bucks as well. So not only did I save myself, I think I saved myself from $120 fuck up, which I might not even have been able to get refunded because it's already been opened to then have to buy a $130 CPU cooler instead of just $120 when I'm broke as fuck. I've also saved myself $140 with that. So it's amazing right now. I'm getting a lot of good luck Except for the start of the night, it was, I thought it was really bad. Like, I was so bummed out, because I thought I had fucked it up. I fucked up on picking something, but I didn't in the end, which is really, really good. I'm happy about that I didn't fuck it up, which means now I have <sighs> more money to spend at Avcon. I really don't like cleaning up messes, <sighs> but he's worth it. So I'm back, and it is now the Monday, and he came around before he went to work, I love him for that, and it was, he spent about 40 odd, 50 odd minutes here, figured out the CPU cooler was right, it was good, I was very much right about that, we hope that it works all perfectly fine, we didn't try to get it up and running because certain things happened, I'll tell you in a second. So we're pretty sure that the CPU cooler is right, but in the end, we got everything in, graphics card, but the cooler having to go on the top of the thing meant that the case is about two centimeters too small so I need to get it something with a minimum of 20 millimeters higher and preferably something that's a little bit like from side to side not front to back like I need to get something that's not only a bit taller so maybe something like about that much taller where the top of the fan is or the top of the radiator is right here or to here I don't know some bit that about that much taller but I also need to get something that's wider from there to there. So we got the graphics card in and it lights up nicely. I took the cords and all that kind of crap out because you know I didn't want to mess with anything. I also need to get more of these red cables because you know I have five fucking things I need to plug in with them and I only have one. 
and yeah other than that it was done it was literally done except for that the thing is two centimeters too small ten or nine I have nine days to find a case that will work nine days to put it to take all that out and put it all back in to the other case and then nine days to get running so that I can get the free upgrade to Windows 10 so I am on a time limit now and I need to get money to buy a new case so I'm gonna look on Gumtree first uh, if I don't find anything good on there that works then I'll end up just having to go to a store like MSY and get a case from there and hopefully that works I did find a couple cases when I was looking before because there was a possibility that the graphics card would have been too too big for the case we thought oh, I'd need to get a taller one for the because the graphics card the graphic card fits in there perfectly fine it's the cooler so I found some earlier that were cool but it's just bleh. all this fucking around is pissing me off now I was literally I should oh my god so the rest of the day I'm gonna be doing some stuff for cases and crap like that hopefully I can get my mum and dad to help me with a bit of money because at the moment I'm broke as hell so I need to use the money that I have at the moment to get the rest of the cables that I need so that that will work perfectly fine. And once I find a case, depending on if it's after or before my payday is whether I'll get it or not. And if I'll need my parents help to buy it, to buy it and I'll just pay them back because it fucked up. So this will be a couple seconds for you for the switch between me not having a good enough case and having a good enough case. But it's going to be days maybe for me. So. Go to the next part. So I'm back. Uh, the last thing you probably would have seen is me being all sad and mopey that the um, all this doesn't want to work. It's still in the exact same position. It's only a couple of hours later. Sorry for my niece and nephew yelling. Um, so problem has been solved. Now I may be broke as hell at the moment, but I did manage to con my mum into helping me for this part. So I went down and got a new case. I got the Monolith. Thermaltake VH1 case. It is absolutely huge. And at the moment, Perrin is obviously at work. So he's going to be there until 8 o'clock. So what's the time now? 5.40. So he's going to be away for quite a while. But in the meantime, he left this stuff here with me so I can put on the anti-static bracelet and start moving whatever I can out and unplugging whatever I can so that when he gets here, it's a bit smoother and a bit faster. I'm not too sure on whether I want to keep the original fans on there, they're hell quiet, but it's a matter of, I kind of want the lighting off of the ones that I have now, I don't know how loud the ones that I have now are, but you know, just depends. And I won't be able to know until I actually get it kind of started up, which is the annoying part here. And to be able to change the fans over, it means taking out the, the hard drive bays and the SSD bays, which is quite annoying. So this one is a shit, has a shit ton more space, it's 145 bucks Australian, and yeah, so you're not going to see much of me moving whatever I can out of that into that, but I will set it up so that when the pairing gets here I can get us moving everything out of that into that and setting everything back up again so that you guys can witness it all and be amazed. So hopefully it should be done by tonight. If I'm lucky enough that the cooler actually does work the way it's meant to and it is for the right thing which I believe it is and I really hope it is otherwise I'm gonna have to fucking not only am I selling that case which is a really fucking good case it's a $99 case it's a $99 case I bought it real cheap though so I'm hoping break even on it not only will I have to sell that but if I fucking got the wrong cooler I'll have to see if I can get it back to MSY and they can you know hook, hook a brother up and I'll just pay for the extra amount for any other calling system that I need because it's quite annoying to deal with all this. But that's all for now, and then I'll see you guys soon. It is now the Tuesday, and that means it is so long since I wanted this to be built. I updated you guys yesterday, I swear I did, and you saw the big case. I think you saw the big case, I'm pretty sure you saw the big case. If you didn't see the big case, here it is. Actually, first off, let me tell you, okay, so we, it was actually a faulty motherboard, right? So it was a faulty motherboard, not a faulty power supply. Perenbroy's computer over there, we tested my power board, my power supply with his computer, and it worked. So we tried to use the motherboard um, outside the case and it didn't work still. We took it over to MSY and they ran it through their system and it had a crashed main BIOS. This, the, the secondary BIOS didn't want to load properly and the first one 
had crashed completely. So they ran it through the system and it got fixed and repaired and it's all good now. And we put it all in and it works. I haven't, up, I haven't installed the operating systems or anything like that. Um, so if I was to hook it up to a monitor, it wouldn't show much at all. But here it is fully put together. Da, da, da. So I traded out the, the thermal take fans there and down there. I put in my Corsair fans because they light up red. I then have my Antec liquid cooler in there, right there, lights up nice and blue. I then have my 1080 graphics card from Gigabyte and that goes up in RGB colors, my power supply, whole bunch of cording, as well as my two hard drives there, three terabyte on top, one terabyte on bottom, both of my optical drives, and back there it has a hidden mount, a hidden mount for the SSD. Now I took off the, the caging, because I can have up to five hard drive slots, as well as two hidden slots, but I decided to have one and then two there, because I had a two cage and and not a three cage. So I had a three cage and then when I have them all like there, I wanted more room inside the case for more airflow and more everything better. Now I'm gonna turn it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Whack. Okay, ready? Okay. So this fan over to the left here takes about three or four seconds to actually want to move like that. As you see, it starts now. And I've got the rest of it, I've got my two fans up front. I can fit another 120 fan, but I don't really want to. I might get two 140s and put them in there, but I don't think so. I don't think I will. I'm not too sure. And yeah, it's nice and beautiful and lit up and everything. And then from the front, you can see the fans and everything. And I put all my little stickers of everything that's in there. It's so beautiful looking. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so eventually I'll have the second one of these cards right underneath it, and then I'll have my other cards down here. I'm pro I might just get a network card to put in there. I'm not too sure. Either that or I'll just leave it with just the USB. Just depends on how well the USB works. And then also I'll be getting the um, Elgato capture card in there. So if I'm using my PC to record in my room, I can just use that. And if I'm going outside, I can use my Elgato thing right there. That is the computer, and it's nice and all lit up and everything, and beautiful. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at them. Beautiful. Yeah, it even has a nice side panel on it. I know I did make a video on how to deal with the SSD and hard disk drives, uh, so that will be coming out soon enough. And yeah, so this video will be coming out as soon as possible. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the iPad edited by tonight because today is Tuesday and tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll have another video go up for Wednesday, uh, which will most likely be part of the Halo 2 live stream. And then this will go up for Thursday if I have time to edit it in time. So this is the last part of this video in general. And when I go to record my first video on the new computer, I will let you all know. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and everything. And even in the video that I'm recording. I just love how I've got a nice blue and red thing going on. Like I've got the two radiator things with the Antec all, all in a nice blue and then I've got my red. I just kind of like that style at the moment because it kind of makes like a purple when you look at it from the front. But yeah. So thank you guys for watching. That has been the unbelievable story on the fuck ups for this computer. Originally, I thought I had the wrong CPU cooler. What's the right CPU cooler? But then the case was too small, got a new case, motherboard, all well, the power supply was faulty, ended up being the motherboard. Motherboard works and everything's nice and in now beautifully tied up together. My cable management might be a bit shocking there, but it's not too bad. On the back it's all nice and clean and tidy and shit like that. Soon, tomorrow morning, parents coming around to help me with the install of the so um, all the software and stuff like that. That needs disk drives and everything else after that I can do myself. But everything to do with the graphics card and the motherboard and all that kind of crap, all the discs that came with it, he'll be helping with me tomorrow as well as to get the free set of Windows 10. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Sorry for the huge video. Thank you for sitting through it. And I'll see you all in the next video.